Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you some very basic um, tools to make your own uh, mat design. Uh, first thing that you need to know is that I'm a very beginner to intermediate uh, user of Photoshop. I know a lot of the basics and you know how to use layers and mess around with some stuff, but I'm by no means like really good with this thing. There's so much potential this program has that I don't even tap into. First thing you want to do is you want to create a new project. What you want is you need to have uh, your resolution right for your mat, um, which you need, needs to be about 300 pixels per inch. Now what this is, is it's going to mean that the higher pixels per inch you have is going to be the uh, crisper of the image. Think of the difference between a HD channel on your TV and a non-HD channel. That's pretty much what we're working with. The higher resolution, we're going to get a crisper image, it's going to look better. The minimum you should be working with for a mat, I'd say, is about 150 pixels per inch. Uh, depending on your computer, you can go higher from there. Some older computers can't handle 300 pixels per inch. Uh, mine can. But uh, we'll start off. Your width needs to be 7,275 pixels by 4,275. So we're working with a very large uh, file here. As you can see, this is only 16.7% of the entire image. So what we want to do is we want to uh, first get a background, and to get a background, you can pretty much get like what I what I'll do sometimes is I'll make my own. But if if you're not really that good with uh, Photoshop, what you can do is you can just go type in high res wallpapers, and you know there's cool images you can use. Um, you definitely want to give uh, credit to the people who make these images, so you know. Uh, stuff like this you can always use as a background like these well, some of them are pretty cool but you can be more specific depending on what you want but uh, we'll go ahead and get out of there I already chose one I just want to mess around with in the video um, I have my own uh, custom playmat folder I uh, wanted to use this I thought it was a pretty neat design so what you'll do is you'll take your image and you'll drag it over onto your canvas as you can see, even though this is a high-res background, it's still not even close to the size of um, our canvas here. So, let's go ahead and resize this to the size of, the mat, of what our mat's going to be. Now, depending on the image, it may not look right like this. I think this looks okay. It looks like it needs to be a little bit taller to me. But, you know, it, it doesn't look bad. So, we'll click Apply, and everything will become a lot more crisp and clean. Obviously the hearts can be on that side of the mat, and on this side we can put our Christia. Now, to get your Christia, you need to get a high-res Christia so it looks good on your high-res mat. Um, there's a couple different things you can do. You can just poke around on the Pojo forums. Again, there is a thread called Custom Play Mats, and there is they do have links to a lot of the high-res. I downloaded a whole Tag Force 4, which is one of the video game's uh, folders. So I have a lot of high-res images that I can cut out and mess around with. I actually found, this is how easy this is, I actually found a Christia already cut out. So we'll open this Christia, and we're going to just drag her onto our canvas. Hello, canvas. Meet Christia. Now Christia, her card art is cut off at the foot and the wings. Now, there are different things you can do. You can, uh, I'm going to make, make this the size of our canvas again. Um, try to keep the normal uh, proportions, but if you don't, it's okay. Uh, just as long as it looks, still looks good. So we'll say we want our Christia to look you know, like that. There's Christia. Now she's now in the same frame as our background. Uh, I've sized it to where the cutoff areas are, are cut off on here as well, so it doesn't look too bad. Um, I actually think Christia might be a little bit wider than that. I might have messed up her uh, spacing. That's something you really don't want to mess up. Um, is the is the actual size of the image? I think that looks a little bit more like Christia because it will make your mat look tacky. But this is just for learning purposes. So we have our Christia already cut out. She's already on here. As I was saying earlier, there are ways where you can add on these parts using the clone stamp tool, using the selection tool, and just messing around with it. And you know, while I could do it, um, it wouldn't look good enough to what I'd want to do on a mat. I, I'm not that skilled at Photoshop. So again, this is just for beginners. This is for people like you and me who, you know, maybe have <laughs> a few years experience on uh, Photoshop, but nothing hardcore. So then we have our Christie on here. Um, you may want to mess around with her, you know, make her look a little bit different. So 
there's a few different ways. You can go to filter. Um, brush strokes is one that I use a lot. I use the ink outlines a ton. It probably won't look good on this mat. Uh, you can just kind of see how she look with the ink outlines. And you mess around with the intensity of things. She can actually look pretty cool like that. Um, I really like the ink outlines. But probably not for this mat because she is, you know, a light. Uh, you know, light. She's so... Uh, I usually use this for like the darker images, and I'll just show you how that looks. So I mean, that looks pretty tight, if you ask me, but I don't want to use uh, that effect for Chris. And you can actually, we'll go to the background, you can actually use that same um, type of uh, effect on your background. So I mean, we can make the whole mat kind of a little bit darker and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we'll wait for this to load. But as you can see, this is really going to mess with the way our hat looks. The dark intensity, obviously, if you lower the light, it's going to get darker. We'll just throw that mix right there. You know, that looks alright, but I still like the stock image better. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of Christia. Christia's ink outlines, even though I think she looks well, actually a lot better than I thought she would. You can also go to layers, and go into layer style. There's something called Outer Glow. And I don't know what a lot of these different things do. I do know for, uh, you know, outlining things with kind of like a you know, like an aura, I kind of like use luminosity. She's uh, like an angel, I think a luminosity would be good. And you just mess around with the sliders and you can kind of make it look like she's, you know, glowing with a holy power energy. Another one I like to use for like, uh, for a, I just, something just fell next to me. That's my webcam. Nope, that's my cell phone. Um, use color burn for black. I'll show you how that looks. Actually, I don't know why that looks really freaky right now. It looks, actually looks kind of tight. Um, maybe color burn is the one I'm looking for. Oh, linear burn. And you know, it kind of just outlines her in black and kind of makes her look cool. But there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Just mess around with it. But I was just showing that there's tons of different things you can do. Here, I'll, I'll show you one of the crazier ones. You can go to uh, your filter. Go... What is it under? Here we go, plastic wrap. You make it look like your Christia is wrapped in plastic. You can mess around with the sliders again to get it the way you want, but I'll just show you how this is. Photoshop does a lot of the work for you. So now our Christia is wrapped in plastic. But whatever, we'll undo that one. Uh, like, and I'm just showing you very, very basic things, how good they can actually look. So another thing you need to do, um, I typed in card zones into Google, and I, and I found this image. So what we need to do, uh, I believe for this image, actually, I have to get a selection for it. Do I? <laughs> no. Okay, so here's our card zones. Actually, yeah, I do. Why, why was it telling me that before? This is a little odd. What's going on here? Need a selection, gentlemen. Oh, I know what this is. I have, like, a little kind of bugginess on my, uh... Just go to select all. That's the easy way to do it. And then you just drag it over. And now that we have it in our frame, what do we do? Well, we obviously want it to be the right size. This is already the right dimension, so once you drag it to the correct size, it's going to look as it should on the mat. So if you're wondering about that, free transform. Clips to everything. So now we have this big old ugly black thing with it, with a bunch of white uh, squares in it. And then what you do from here is you just go to Opacity and you just use the dragger. And you can see our mat slowly comes into the way you want it. Now, since our mat is really bright, you can't, probably shouldn't go under 20 opacity with it, but it is going to make the rest of your mat sort of darker. So, um, Okay, now we have our card zones on there. What else do we need to do? Okay, well we obviously don't want our Christie behind our card zones. There are, uh, there are uh, ways you can make only parts of it be in front of the card zone, but since it's only Christia, we're just going to slide her up, and now she's in front of the card zones. So there is a very, 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 very basic uh, mat uh, you can do. We'll say we want to type something like Christia. And some very basic text, you know. 
and even that is something we can use the free transform on, make it make it smaller. We can do uh, since it's own it's its own layer. We can go into the layer. We can go into the properties. We can give it a uh, excuse me the style. We can give it its own outer glow glow. Um, we'll say black, and we'll just mess around with the sliders. No, sorry, we're on the wrong thing. New luminosity. Now it's kind of got like a little. You can turn the opacity up so it's like that. Click OK, and you know. There's an extremely basic Christia mat. I kind of think it it looks tacky, and obviously the one I'm gonna make for myself is gonna look uh, probably a lot better than that. But even that, I mean, we spent what less than 15 minutes on Smat. You know, it's something that if you took somewhere. It's gonna get noticed, you know. It's uh, it's something that you can definitely be proud of, and uh, take it somewhere, and someone's gonna be like, "Wow, that's a really cool Christie mat," and you'd be like, "Hell yeah!" Learned it, how to make it on YouTube. So, you know, I chose this image because it had the heart and like kind of like blood dripping or paint dripping off of it, with kind of something that resembles Christie's wings. And then you just go file, save as. I always save it, save one as a uh, Photoshop for the base, so I can mess around with the layers uh, later if I want to. But uh, I think that's it for the video, guys. What you're going to want to do is you want to save it as a large file and find the person who's uh, who you're printing, who's going to do the printing for you, send it to them. They'll give you all the information. I'll go ahead and post links to the thread that on Pojo that has the list of printers. But again, um, that took us 15 minutes and we now have a unique custom uh, mat, and it, 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 it's so e it's so easy, guys. It's so easy. It actually kind of makes you think about how kind of crappy some of the ones that uh, uh, Konami puts out are. But you know, here's a mat. Uh, if you want, actually want me to send you this file, I can send it to you or do whatever. So uh, come back and watch my videos, guys. Uh, hopefully. I'll have uh, a new Herald build for you guys next week. I'm picking up uh, some Tethys and Jelen Duos, um, and they're each like 20 bucks. so I'd rather not order them, I'd rather trade for them, but I'm probably going to have to order them. So uh, just keep an eye out for that, guys. Until then, uh, later.